We have four clips here. We're looking at how aggressive we're catching the ball. First one, you actually get away. You can take up some presence there. Second one, just got to catch that ball. Third, you actually back away from the ball. Third, you make a cut to the basket. Davina hits you and you make a basket. Nice take, Grace. Here you have another situation to catch the ball. You knock it down. Good aggression after, though. You may see this one later on again where you actually choose to go very low to try and get that rebound. Not sure what happens here. You catch the ball, you attack a gap, and then pass, I guess, is just poor or receiver not so good. We'll actually work on this in a few next following weeks where you actually catch and want to be strong. You want to be face up and choose what you're going to do. This next one, we're in press, and you're back of the press. Now, when the ball goes forward, you actually choose to go after the ball and you expose the weak side block. Another good start out of a defensive, a shot goes up, you make contact, but then you let them go. You like to box them out and then get after the ball. Good hustle to get back, but then go after the ball and catch with two hands. Good help here, but stay on your feet so you can get after the rebound. Good effort here, we do want to force baseline, um, but we don't want to let them get a straight line drive. We needed some help there. Defensively, you'd want to force baseline and not give up the middle. You do fight back, get a good rebound and an outlet. After the shot here, you make some contact on the block up and you actually force it below the baseline. Remember, that's where she doesn't want to go. This defense sequen defensive sequence isn't too bad. You actually good re movement to the ball. You actually call it down screen, great. And then actually when the shot goes up, you make some contact and she stays behind you. We are in 12 and you are in the back row. By moving up on the ball, you actually create a problem for Davina by leaving her with two to cover. She makes a choice to move up court, but I don't agree with, but uh, then you hustle back. In help rotation, you actually give us a shot at getting the rebound. Your jumping mechanics look a bit odd to me. Perhaps that's why you fell. Lots of hustle here and trying to be aggressive on the ball. Uh, you probably overcommit a little bit, and again, this what gives up the um, back end that you've required some help. Good help on the penetration here, nice and tall, but a uh, bit more balance. Box out on the free throws can be hard, but by staying in front, you give us an opportunity on the board. This box out looks pretty good to me. You stay with her and ride her all the way through. This is why we ask her to box out. If you look at 22, she gets a good run and gets in beside you. Not sure what happened here. It looked like you were running out to the ball after it was gone. This def defensive rebound looks pretty good to me. You make contact and then return to the ball. Good hustle to get the loose ball. Then your ball handling skills have to come in where you actually give us an opportunity to work with it. Again, from the defensive rebound position, we'd like you to find somebody to put a body on. In this case, there may not have been a lot, and that's not why they got the ball, but that's what we'd like you to do. This is an opportunity to look at your perimeter defense. I think you overcommit. Now, she travels, which is um, a disadvantage, um, but really what we're going to do is stay in front. If I'd let the audio go or it's in the background, coach actually is asking you to stay down. <laughs> this is another look at rebounding off the free throw. That is a big, strong girl, and she wants to knock you over, but really got to work at keeping her out to give us that opportunity on the ball. This is flat out great hustle. This girl really can get to the hoop, and you do a good job getting back. This uh, play, your defense looks reasonably good. You're forcing sideline. You respond to the ball well. Um, both on and off the ball. Uh, the only comment I have is this box out here where you actually ignore your check. This actually looked pretty good to me, but you could be a bit more stable, a bit more wide, and just gets it and falling down. I'm not sure why. This looks pretty good. You drive baseline and hit the baseline bump. These last four clips, we're going to look at where you're rebounding. It's almost below the basket. So if you use the volleyball court there, um, a few times you actually choose to go below it to try and get the rebound. Almost assured the bounce is even straight off or further out into the court. And the consequence of this is when they get the rebound, you're not able to slow them down or you're late going to be later getting back.